the Luxury Channel was at the 25th anniversary of London Fashion Week to discover why London is one of the world's most important fashion destinations. This season's was the biggest London Fashion Week on record, playing host to more buyers, press and designer showcases than ever before. No other city there's like such support for like young designers. London is really famous for its undergraduates, for its colleges, cutting edge design. This place is just like it makes it happen, you know. Many big name designers return to London with the star studded Burberry event, surely the hottest ticket in town. This is just huge. I mean, I've never been to a fashion show where there's been so much expectation, it's, it's, it's very exciting. For me as an Amer you know, American girl or New Yorker, I, I'm kind of obsessed with English fashion because there's such a nice twist of sort of something very traditional and well-tailored and historic with like a great sense of humor. And I always find that I always look to my British girlfriends for having the best style because there's something very playful about it, which I like. Burberry is the greatest British brand uh, in the world, and I want to celebrate the history and the heritage. It's been a very emotional night. I mean, I just, you know, the collection, I mean, I think it just reinforced the, the heritage of the brand and the fact that we were born from a raincoat, but he showed how modern and how innovative he can, he can twist that for a new whole younger consumer today. But what really sets London apart from its contemporaries is its creativity, energy and unparalleled reputation for producing young talent. Here at Somerset House on the Strand, last year's fashion fringe winner Yun Yong unveiled her new collection. I love London and I used to study in here, so I feel like that London is the best place to show my collection. My inspiration was from 16th century ballet. They used to wear the kind of really length dress instead of like short tulle dress. I tried to use all the different texture and then all the different feel and the beading. I feel like I just want to go to bed straight away. <laughs> it's how I feel now. At the Red Bull Fashion Factory in High Hoban, the new generation of aspiring fashionistas gathered together in an eclectic melee of wall painting, music and high energy cocktails before heading to the runway for the unveiling of the new Felder & Felder collection. This is just like unbelievable, you know, I'm like so happy that we can show here. It just fits to our whole kind of concept, you know, this like rock and roll attitude. I think we have a very strong signature, which we sort of like, like to work on, you know. We sort of add things, you know, this time the embellishment was added, but when you look closer, you would see that it is the embroidery that's been done with studded leather. So it's just sort of adding to the signature that we work with. Sustainable fashion has traditionally struggled for exposure among the headline-grabbing mainstream shows, but new initiatives such as the BFC's Aesthetica are beginning to make some headway. Now in its seventh season, the group has brought 28 designers to the Strand to demonstrate the potential for sustainability in high-end fashion. Almost everyone now is addressing ethical issues in terms of trade fairs. We were approached by the British Fashion Council in 2006 with the view of creating the first ethical area within London Fashion Week. We wanted to showcase brands that could compete with their mainstream counterparts. It serves in a way um, to clarify the struggle of an ethical designer, the priorities of an ethical designer, which differ enormously from the priorities of a mainstream designer. It's important for us to be seen together as a movement so that it is understood what we're trying to do. This season we're launching the new Lily Cole brand, which is the North Circular, which is next to our stand, which is, you know, amazing UK produced, granny knitted scarves and hats. We've got an amazing new designer who I think has a wonderful collection called Ajna. We have um, really pushing a, a shoe brand, shoes by Nina Dolcetti, again recycled leather. What we are seeing is um, a lot of creativity coming out from the recycling, particularly the UK colleges. It seems to be that that's where the younger brands are kind of latching on.
London Fashion Week ends here at the Queen of Hoxton in East London, where the new charity Art Against Knives is hosting the Fash Off Party. Art Against Knives was set up in the wake of an horrific knife attack on the then 20-year-old Central St Martin student Oliver Hemsley, which left him paralysed. I left hospital and then maybe the next day Alison came to me like, you need to come to the office. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life. Straight, so. straight to work. Art Against Knives was started by us in May um, as a fundraiser for Oliver to raise money for everything he's going to need for the rest of his life. And the response has been so overwhelming. So we're in the process of registering as a charity. It's been barely a year since the attack, but already an extensive lineup of art and fashion superstars are queuing up to get involved. We had everyone from Anthony Gormley, Tracy Emin, Wolfgang Tillman, Banksy involved, and fashion designers from Mario Schwab, Giles Deacon, uh, Richard Nicole, um, Christopher Kane, well, the list went on. No other place in the world where like designers advise each other, support each other. It's like, this is really the time that's been recognized in, in the world as the capital of creativity. So that's it for this season. We're looking forward to another 25 years of creative, cutting edge, and inspirational London fashion. Yeah.